Hi students, welcome back to this video. Let us get started our new session with this inspirational quote by APJ. To succeed in your mission, you must have single-minded devotion to your goal. Okay students, uh, the topics to be covered in this session, the tissue system, epidermal tissue system, ground tissue system and vascular tissue system. These topics are from the lesson Anatomy of Flowering Plants. Let us see one by one. What are the uh, three important tissue systems which are found in plants? That includes epidermal tissue system, uh, ground tissue system and vascular tissue system. So here it is given the diagram in order to understand various kinds of tissue system. Actually this classification is based on the structure and the location. The structure as well as the location. See for example, epidermal tissue system, that is the location is that is present outside or outermost tissue is known as the epidermal tissues. This one is known as the epidermal tissues. Then what are the other structures found in this epidermal tissue system? That includes Epidermal cells, stomata, then epidermal appendages. Epidermal appendages includes trichomes and hairs. Why it is known as trichomes and hairs? Because the appendages found in stem known as the trichome, the appendages which are found in the stem is known as uh, trichomes while the appendages which are found in a root are called root hairs. So what are the three important uh, parts of the epidermal tissue system? The epidermal tissue system consists of epidermal cells, stomata, then epidermal appendages. So this is the epidermal tissue system. When uh, we see this diagram, you will be able to understand more clearly about the epidermal tissue system. See that is single layered, hmm? only one layer is present, they are elongated, they are parenchyma cells, etc. Then one more important thing, outermost here we can see there is a waxy thick layer that waxy thick layer is called cuticle what is it called it is known as the cuticle but an important thing we should remember that cuticle is absent in roots when we see the uh, section of the stem cuticle is absent when we uh, see the section of the root, the cuticle is absent. See here, you can see this is the stem. Means this part is the stem. When we take the section, we will get uh, this diagram. When we uh, see through the or observe through the microscope, we can see this diagram. Then again, the enlarged part also we can view through the microscope. Then next is, uh, stomata. There are minute openings which are found in the epidermal cells of the leaves. They are called stomata. They are called stomata. What is the function of stomata? Stomata helps for gaseous exchange as well as transpiration. That is, that helps for gaseous exchange as well as transpiration. Then stomata is made up of bean-shaped guard cells or bean-shaped guard cells or 
dumbbell dumbbell shaped guard cells in monocots these guard cells are not in bean shaped these guard cells are dumbbell shaped and here in dicots this is known as the uh, bean shaped guard cells in the middle you can see the stomata okay then what about the cells which are found outer side of the guard cell see this part is the outer part of the guard cell they are known as subsidiary cells they are known as the subsidiary cells they are specialized they are specialized shape and size and here we can see stomatal aperture and this one is the guard cell so stomatal aperture guard cells and subsidiary cell together known as stomatal apparatus that is known as stomatal apparatus so what do you mean by stomatal apparatus it consists of stomatal aperture means stomata opening and here it is protected by guard cell see this is known as the guard cell and the outer part of the guard cell is known as the subsidiary cells these cells are known as the subsidiary cells so subsidiary cells guard cells and stomata together known as stomatal apparatus is it okay children when stomata open see this is the structure we can see it is the structure showing when the stomata open when the stomata closed this is the structure then guard cells regulate the opening and closing of stomata these guard cells helps for the opening as well as the closing of stomata then uh, we studied epidermal appendages are present on epidermis epidermal appendages consists of uh, two things root hairs when these appendages are present in the root they are known as the root hair see this is the root hair here also we can see the root hair we have studied what is the function of root hair we have studied they helps for absorption of mineral and water okay then what about the stem when we see the epidermal appendage in the stem it is known as the trichome t r i c h o m e so trichomes are the epidermal hairs found in the uh, stem what is the function of this trichome that prevent water loss trichome prevent water loss due to transpiration next that is below to the epidermal tissue system that is commonly called as ground tissue system so this area this part is known as the ground tissue system then uh, ground tissue system is made up of simple tissues which are they they are parenchyma uh, collenchyma and sclerenchyma where which all part we can see the parenchyma cells parenchyma cells are found in the cortex this region is known as the cortex and here below the epidermis the endodermis there is a pericycle so parenchyma cells are present in the cortex endodermis pith and medullary rays so where these medullary rays are present medullary rays are present in between vascular tissue system we have studied which are the vascular tissues xylem and phloem
ground tissue system is present in the leaves also but they are named as mesophylls so the ground tissue system found in the leaf are called mesophylls what are they called the ground tissue system found in the leaves are called mesophylls okay so this is the section of the leaf look you see this diagram leaf when we take the section this is the diagram uh, that we can see when we view through the microscope okay then i have told you already the ground tissue system is made up of parenchyma collenchyma and sclerenchyma when you go through this diagram these cells are the parenchymatous cells and these are the collenchymatous cells and these are the sclerenchymatous cells they are commonly known as simple tissue system that we have studied already the third part or the third tissue system is known as vascular tissue system vascular tissue system so we know that a vascular tissue system consists of xylem and phloem xylem and phloem what is the function of xylem xylem helps for uh, transport water and minerals while phloem transport the food which is prepared in the uh, plants that is in the leaf then they are together known as vascular bundles they are known as vascular bundles in your smaller classes we have studied like that then one more thing these vascular bundles are known as open vascular bundle or closed vascular bundles when they are called open vascular bundle and when they are called closed vascular bundles that is based on the presence of uh, or absence of cambium that is based on the presence or absence of cambium they are uh, two types or two types of vascular bundles they are open type and closed type when the cambium is present they are called open vascular bundles when cambium is present they are called open vascular bundles when cambium is absent they are called closed vascular bundles so what are cambium they are these are the cells found in between xylem and phloem here you can see the xylem this portion is known as the xylem and this is known as the phloem so in between you can see the cambium if cambium is present that is open vascular bundle if cambium is absent that is known as closed type vascular bundle that that point is given here then example for open vascular bundle that is dicotyledonous stem or dicot plants in monocots cambium is absent so this diagram uh, will help you to understand more clearly open vascular bundles this is known as the open vascular bundle here cambium is present in between xylem and phloem but here no cambium so that it is known as closed vascular bundle so closed vascular bundles are present in monocots then again uh, these vascular bundles are uh, two types how are they are classified into two these two types radial type and conjoint type based on the arrangement see when you see this diagram the arrangement we can see and here also the arrangement we can see is there any difference between the, in these two arrangement of course here this is the xylem this is the phloem xylem phloem xylem phloem like like that but here the xylem and phloem are found in same radii see this is xylem and this is phloem that type is known as conjoint type so i'll explain 
Xylem and phloem are arranged in alternate manner on different radii are called radial type. See, xylem and phloem. This is xylem, this is phloem. Xylem and phloem are arranged in an alternate manner on different radii are called radial vascular bundles. Radial type of vascular bundles are found in roots. They are found in roots. So these are the important points we have to remember always. Radial types of vascular bundles are found in roots. Then what about the conjoined type of vascular bundles? In conjoined type of vascular bundle, xylem and phloem are found at the same radius. Yes. Here it is closed. Why it is called closed conjoined vascular bundles? Because cambium is absent. But here this is conjoined vascular bundles, conjoined and open vascular bundles. Why it is called like that? Because cambium is present. There are two types of uh, vascular bundles based on the arrangement of xylem and phloem. Okay, students. Uh, in this session, we have completed the different types of tissue system such as epidermal tissue system, ground tissue system and uh, vascular uh, tissue system. Okay, students. That's all about uh, today's class. Thank you for watching this video.